Hi everyone, and first of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos <laughs> and to my channel. And um, I'm very, very thankful for all the trust you have given me for those who have book readings with me. Uh, even though my channel is still a bit, a bit small, I have received tons of um, bookings and feedback from my clients unfortunately i can't post them up since they tend to send my, their feedback on kick messenger and it, it includes some um, personal information about their situation and how accurate it was and that's actually a uh, very flattering for me since um i just recently started the psychic recording uh, reading offer this is the first time actually since I started the YouTube channel so I had no way to confirm whether the reading was correct unlike how it is during a chat session or a live chat session so it was really really cool to actually talk to um, my clients and chat with them as soon as the reading is done and yeah, so I have received some emails recently about clients questioning why do you offer um, specific cards in limited questions? And I think they are misunderstanding Tarot and Lenormand as a whole. I don't do Tarot readings. I mean, I do use Tarot and doing readings in the monthly monthlies and in chat sessions i also use tarot they give tons of details for me so um i do psychometry to connect with them it's not really about saying that six of cups this is about friends or what <laughs> it's nothing of sort i just use tools to connect but i don't really use the cards as a uh, I won't tell you that you've got this card and this card and this means that this is this blah 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 I don't use tarot that way I just want to let you know that so the reading will be more like a uh, channeling of sort on what messages I get this is the spread of Lenormand there are different varieties of spreads so I use them depending on what you have purchased in my website. This one I'm, I have right now is a 36 card spread. The time frame can differ depending on the client's concern. The minimum is uh, three weeks to a month. That's the minimum. And most of the time, it's within three months to six months to a year it really depends on the client's concern but I kind of like it when we only check um, shorter time frames that way you can verify if it really happened uh, we can really really check the dynamics and what happened in the recent path and what will happen in the future those kinds of stuff and with this cards, you cannot hide anything. If there is a fair going on, it will show up. <laughs> and I can't, this is what I like about Lenormand. Lenormand is quite a bit different with Tarot. Tarot is a divination tool, yes. It gives us details and on what is to come and such. But this is much more straightforward. Like if a relationship is ending, it straight down tells you that yes, it is ending. Though even though that if, for example, you get a five card spread of Lenormand and you ask if the relationship is going to end and it doesn't say that it's not going to end, it's not. it doesn't mean that it's not going to end at all. It might just mean that it's not going to end in that time frame. A five card spread from Lenormand it's just um uh, in a span of days to weeks kind of thing it's not really something of long term so keep that in mind so different spread can dif 
can say different things. And now I'm going to give you a sample reading of a grand tableau. I offer this on my website. Um, and I have focused this. I actually <laughs> wanted this to upload as a sample because I have a client of mine. She is a repeat client, but she has never done any Lenormand reading yet. So I'm not going to do the whole setup of the reading, but I'm going to give her a bit of sample on what is to expect on her reading. So yeah. Um, so when I was shuffling in the cards, I have put the intention that this reading is only good for three weeks. With the man card, is the man involved in the picture? And the women, is the women that I have envisioned in mind? And the snake as the third person. Please do take note that um, this sample reading I am doing right now uh, is a situation involving real people. So this is a real life scenario that is going on. And this is not from a client, but this is toward someone I know. So this is the way I can verify things from the, in the past. And I can know if it really comes to pass or not. So quite a good... I already have an idea, but I haven't really checked them in a Lenormand spread yet on what is to come. So this gives me some sort of clarification, really. Plus, it is predictive type. So, yeah. Um, if you're going to do a grand tableau, sometimes you don't even need a question. All you really need is to focus that, yes, I want a relationship spread to check on what is to come and within three weeks or whatever. But if, for example, you are not with a, a partner but you want to see all aspects like um, how is my work gonna go or um, how is my health gonna be so um, we don't need to focus on any certain topic when we are shuffling the cards by then you can check in all spreads what's going to happen for work uh, health and love life as a whole but for this spread I have focused purely for relationships so the way I'm going to do the reading <coughs> excuse me is for um, relationship as a whole if you notice uh, I'm using a 30, 36 card spread but it's quite a bit different than how others might be doing the, the reading because the last four cards is known to be the fate cards I've used them as a crowning kind of uh, card wherein I never open the four cards and I just shuffle them and put and place them on specific cards that I like some clarifications on. That way I will be given more insights on things that is troubling me, troubling the client for clarification. And for me to get more uh, confirmation or get more insights on the real situation and dynamics. So first of all, I always check the corner cards of the spread. Uh, I also use houses. Um, it's not written here, but uh, the placement of each card has a house. Like for example, this is the sun card. It's in the house of the rider. The fox is in the house of the clover. The key is in the house of the ship. So, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, ship. Uh, and so forth. So, I will be doing the reading based on that. So, it might get confusing for first timers. But this is the way I'm going to do my reading for you guys. Or if ever you get the purchase on that. So what I'm getting here, the energy here is like some kind of message is going to shine a light 
in their relationship. Something, some message is going to be out there in the open. It, this tells us the cross here is in the house of the ring, telling us how difficult and burdens, how, how there is some sort of burden in the relationship, how difficult it is. And mirroring the path, the crossroad here, in the house of the cross, it seems that there is some sort of difficult decision about to take place. Also, what's very, very odd here is that the heart over here is in the house of the coffin. So, it could lead to some breakup. It does make sense, right? Um, some sort, if there is some sort of realization for of a painful relationship leading to a decision making, which could lead to a breakup. So, that is the energy surrounding here. But first of all, let us check. And the man and the woman without first thinking of the clarifying cards. So, we can see here that the man and the woman is not facing each other. Though, I usually don't really dwell myself in that. <laughs> so, um, the line over here represents... Uh, the present moment so this could say that yes they are together they are committed towards each other there is commitment involved because there is a loyalty card here and but there's a sense of feeling alone kind of a relationship it's not really a happy relationship for me First of all, they are far from the the heart and the ring. Though it's actually near the man and the woman, the houses that they have are quite a bit complex. Plus, they are surrounded by the clouds, the scythe, the snake, tower. So, it's a bit quite hard. There's some sort of... It's like they are in a relationship, but I feel that they're not in a relationship. That kind of thing. So, if you notice here, the man is facing the cloud area. But the cloud she's facing is in the lighter side. If you can see, there's two parts of the cloud here. One is dark and one is light. So, usually, um, if the woman is over here, it seems that she is confused and doesn't find uh, clarity over something but when she's here beside the, the lighter part it's telling me that there is some sort of clarity coming up there is some sort of realization for him and one two three and what's funny is that uh the woman is in the house of the clouds and the clouds is relating to the three here so it's telling me how he she might be having some sort of mental anxiety over something that she might have realized she may not have realized it before but now her eyes are open something is being cleared up for her so another thing that bothers me is that When we read this line all together, it's like it's saying that some kind of message is going, some kind of hidden thing is going to suddenly come up. Something is about to get revealed. But with how I'm seeing this, it's like it's saying that she will realize that this, this relationship that they have it's not going to go anywhere and that they really need to break up that uh, there is no love in the first place there will be some kind of arguments there will be some kind of um, there will be changes in their relationship in their commitment there will be uh, some sort of arguments going to take place about money 
Uh, here's the thing as well. I'm sensing a lot of money connection between them, which we'll, we'll talk about later. So, yeah. It's also funny because in the 19th position, this name, um, first it tells us that this man has another woman. And this woman is also being a snake. <laughs> She's very, very smart. And she could be cheating as well. Be especially because she is in diagonal with the Lily over here. And Lily could be sometimes we can relate it to another man in the scene. And if we check where the li the house of the lily is, it's over here, uh, to where the dog is. So, this is actually making me feel that this person, if this is indeed another man, which is confirmed by the writer because sometimes the writer is another person coming into place. If this is a friend of him of the woman they mirror each other here a friend of the woman an old friend of her i would say that this is someone in her past especially that the woman is looking at the past so i will take a look and where the house of the dog is and where the dog is is in here in the coffin so the house of the dog in the coffin means their connection or friendship has already ended in the past. And it could be that right now, this person is back. And they are in communicating with each other. That sort of thing. Also, when I took the clarifying card earlier, I've got the house card for the women so this makes me feel that the thing that she realizes has to do something w with the house household kind of stuff household mm. and with the man the clarifying card i got was um the clover and with the heart, the clarifying card I got was anchor and then ring, leather. So it's really, really funny because the man is in the house of the fox. And this fox is in the house of the clover. This really says something. They really define each other. So... And if we line them here together, um, it's the whip card in the house of the scythe. That's actually not a good thing because whip and a scythe is a lot of argument involved. Sometimes violence, some sort of danger. And it's also in a night with um, the women here. So they could really, really be arguing a lot. And it's surrounded by uh, fish, which is the money, a money card. And it's in the house of the whip. So there could really be some arguments relating to money here. And... And what else? It's actually funny as well because the heart is knighting the tower. It's making me feel that that they that they both know this relationship isn't work out, and the fact that this is connected to the crossroads that we have here it tells us that because that 
of the realization that the relationship isn't going anywhere anymore that um, it's in a depressing state like as if um, there's no feelings there's only grief in the relationship a decision is about to take place and this also could mean that um, someone is about to dis make a decision and he has to do it alone some sort of a being alone is around here in decision and if we see that the the man here is knighting the crossroads it tells me a lot about how this how this uh situation or um decision might come from the man himself so yeah i always love uh, reading the major ring cards here and if you notice here this is um, in the house of the heart, so it should be something happy, something of a good partnership. But um, with the mice here, in the house of the stork, it says about some negative changes coming around in their contract, in their partnership, which leads to uh, decision making about to take place. Okay, so this man is with another woman and they are exchanging messages through internet. Since this is the ship. And here's a very, very um, thing that I realize. This snake. This is the other woman. She is in the house of, of the mountain, which is in the house of the letter. And remember, the letter is our clarifying card here in the ring. So it makes me feel as if this person who's supposed to be having a affair uh, i mean a commitment with this woman is actually more focused on this this person in the snake whom he isn't even with because from what i know they are in different countries so hence the the mountain over here and the star so it's like he's focused on someone who is not there and he even shows more commitment towards this person instead of this woman whom she is not e whom he is not even facing in the first place so yeah so if we check what's on the lily card yeah it's the i think i've mentioned this earlier that the dog is in the lily card and the lily card is over here to where the bear is and then the bear is over here in the house of the mice that will cause their partnership to fall apart so do you see the dynamics it's like they're all connected so it could be that this there is going to be some sort of unknown man in the picture that will be the reason why they are going to fall apart in their relationship and if sometimes we see the dog as the loyal person and if um in the house of the dog there is a coffin it seems that their relationship might end and another reason why i feel that is because um the heart card which is the heart of devotion feelings those sort of things is in the house of the coffin which tells us about grief breaking up those those sorts of things so yeah and it's beside the radar so it could mean that someone goes in the pictures and the main reason why it has led to this or this could mean that the realization of this woman led her to this path of breaking up and 
depression in this relationship. And with the anchor beside that, it seems like a permanent thing, a permanent breakup, a permanent uh, situation wherein they're really not happy. And that is very, very clarified over here. And then... Um, The moon, the house of the moon is actually at the crossroads. This is the house of the moon and the crossroads. It tells us that this decision is very, very painful, very, very emotional. And then um, the moon is in the house of the garden. And the garden is in the house of the towers. So, this actually tells us about how, how this relationship is actually not a relationship. And this has been happening for a few months now, or maybe a year even, that they are not happy. There's no really passion in their situation. And within this three months time, they will really feel the void of their relationship they will really feel that things are not going anywhere they would really feel that a decision has to be done uh to set the deal and where it should where the relationship is going e, right um so again there is really some sort of news coming around. So I'm not sure if this is something to do with the man or the woman. But it tells me it relates to the woman. Some sort of news is going to come around for the woman. So probably the woman also makes a decision. But it's most likely if she gets caught to whatever fooling around she is doing it would be this man who makes the decision who makes the because the man is also beside the site so so she could be he could be um decisive in making this decision what happens next is something we don't know because this is only three weeks and i feel that the decision part and everything might go by the end of the month of july since this is this is the future stuff for me and this is more of a uh, pass but but it could still occur within a three three weeks time so yeah so yeah, it's not really a good reading. I think that um, reading a grand tableau could vary from person to person depending on their circumstances. And in this spread, in this spread, um, the man and the woman are both cheating bastards. So there are a lot of people involved here, <laughs> especially this man who has been sneaky all along <laughs> feeling lucky that yeah i have both worlds over here <laughs> and not knowing that this woman is also fooling around she's also fooling around discreetly and it's been a while since she has been confused on whom to be with but it seems that this time she is more focused on the person in her past and this lily so this lily sometimes it tells about someone this woman will marry it also sometimes tells about another man in the picture or an older man or it could be an old friend or an old relationship that sort of thing so yeah not the best reading i know but this is an example on how things are coming to be so usually though 
if the house is not the clarifying card for example is over here i would check in how things are in their household because they are living together they're not married though they are living together so i would say that there are a lot of hidden issues in their house so much things are not being revealed here because it's uh near also the the cloud but in public eye it seems that they they are they're good in public um there are a lot of um, cheating going on. The woman tends to make give <laughs> troublesome situations uh, for their relationship at home. There are a lot of arguments at home, so it really it really varies per spread and per situation. So yeah, this is a, sa a sample of the Grand Tableau. And I hope my client find this um, insightful and, and can definitely look forward to the reading we are about to do since I think I should be able to do your reading in hopefully in a week after I finish some of the readings I have with other clients that has ordered uh, recording sessions with me and live chats so yeah again thank you everyone for watching and for taking the time to listen to me ramble about this spread this is actually my favorite one it's amazing how sometimes i do readings for the next day and i don't even want to believe it at times and then if ever it happens and it's not a good reading i just tell myself oh crap oh crap it happened <laughs> so so yeah Lenormand is really really fascinating for me and Lenormand and Taro combining each other gives awesome accuracy as long as you're not confused with how they they are being read so yeah um I hope you guys um had an idea on the difference of a Taro and Grant and Lenormand and with the spread that I offer of the Grand Tableau. And if you'd like to have a reading with me, please do visit my website. It's in the description box below. It may take some time for me to do your reading. <laughs> please do take note. A client of mine um, misinterpreted my, my offer in my website. She actually thought that the psychic recording session will be sent to her within 20 minutes and I'd like to say that's not within 20 minutes but it what I meant was the reading will be uh, 20 minutes long <laughs> that kind of a uh, reading to make sure that it's all in depth so anyway thank you for watching liking sharing subscribing commenting and everything else and I appreciate it Maybe if I ever reach 500 to 1,000 sub subscribers, I will be offering free reading to all my lovely subscribers. So yeah, thank you again and see you next time. I am thinking of doing some weekly or another full moon reading since we're about to enter another full moon by the end of the month. So stay tuned with that. Thank you guys. See you next time.